Welcome one and welcome all to my night of horror and delight. I am your dear host. They call me Dr. Oddfellow. Good evening everyone, it is Mitchell aka The Walking Orlando and welcome back to Halloween Horror Nights and our first trip out here. It's going to be a very short trip, but we're going to come on over, we're going to check out all of these scare zones, check out all of the different houses there are, and see everything Halloween to make sure you guys do check out with us, because it's our first of many trips to Halloween Horror Nights this year. And of course, walking up, you got all the different houses, and like I said, we will come back on Sunday nights to check out all the different houses and start giving our ranking of all the houses moving forward. But tonight, scare zones and to see all the menus and just see Horror Nights because I really want to check out Dr. Oddfellow. I love how they really don't even give you a chance to hide from the scares. They literally said, he said, you enter the park, here's a scare zone. This is the, uh, like, this is like Dr. Oddfellow's scare zone where he actually has a whole stage and everything. But he also walks around. <laughs> oh my god. kind of wraps around where the uh, NBC or yeah the the food place back there but it wraps around it but there's also a little stage where um, throughout the evening Dr. Oddfellow will actually go up and like speak to everyone get in get into the whole thing but it's also cool to kind of see him walking around so like so that is the first scare zone you get literally right out of the bat the one up here by New York um, by where Jimmy Fallon is is Vamp 69 and that's all about like um, vampires and everything else so that's pretty cool plus they play some cool music in there yeah, so what cracks me up is you're walking down minion lands and all of the minion land stuff is close they put a they, minions dressed up as zombies attacking people oh my gosh and then you got all the food thing all the food trucks are out luckily we ate before we coming so we're not gonna be as tempted tonight well it gives you an idea stranger things is an 120 minutes or two hours I mean, kind of the placement of it kind of makes sense, but it also tells you that's going to be the most popular houses here. You also have Dueling Dragons right there, and then Yeti. So Dueling Dragons is 60, and what's cool is apparently that has two different endings. But now we're going into Vamp 69. Dragons No, there's a Dueling Dragon. there was a Dueling Dragons ride. No, it's right now. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. 
Where goes the Megan Horde? The Megan Horde. The it's the Megan from the uh, movie Megan. Literally, look, look how bright this is compared to everything else. Like this is the good guy goodies. Oh, this has the weird uh, Chucky pop pop dead popcorn, which is like uh, flaming hot Cheetos flavored popcorn. In the shipyard 32. I think it kind of works out really well because of the being the in San Francisco, so it's like a shipyard. This is always my least what? Yeah, they are. This is my least favorite like scare zone usually every year because it's so tight. There's just no space. So this is the one thing I'm actually the mo I'm looking forward to the most is they finally brought the Death Eaters into Diagon Alley, and there's more than there's ever been, and there's more space because it's a lot less a lot less close than Hogsmeade is. So I'm gonna go in here and check those guys out. Just for me, like I stood in one spot almost the entire time, and I saw a bunch of them going by. So now we're gonna go over. We're actually gonna do Nightmare Fuel. I didn't think we were actually gonna do Nightmare Fuel tonight, but this is the new. This is, this is the third generation of Nightmare Fuel. So get excited for it. All right, so Nightmare Fuel, third year in a row. Oh my God, it was even better than the first two years. I think. I think it's just been getting better every every year, and there was so much more fire. And the one thing, and I'm not really spoiling anything. The very beginning, they start with this mattress out there. And there's a transition from the like the main person having the nightmares to the nightmare. It's so, like there's a there's a villain in there, the nightmare. But they do this transition out of the mattress, and every year it doesn't make any sense. So I the one thing I will tell you is a tip: try to be there about 45 minutes beforehand to get yourself a good seat. Um, and be aware it is going to be packed. So just be prepared to sit and be there for a hot minute before the, the thing starts. So unfortunately I could not record any of it, but I will say if you are coming out, you have to check that out. It is very good. They usually run 8, 9.30, I want to say 11, and then 12.30. So that is just be mindful of that. I think later in the evening there's gonna be, they're going to be less busy. So just be, be aware, but it is still so good. And honestly, like, 
I think the fuel fear factor shows, but we were off to the side, so I really want to sit in the middle to see everything because there's a lot of things that kind of missed, but there was so much happening, so much fire, so much music. It was just a really good music as well. So, and also a TikTok of uh, doing Sam Smith Unholy was kind of funny because they did the TikTok dance for it. I do want to give you an idea, so I just walked by one of the bars that has the Blinky Cup. So the Blinky Cup's kind of a big deal every year. Um, for like the drinks because you can get them refilled and they're cheaper than like a regular drink. Um, so to get a Blinky cup it's $16.50 and then to get a refill is $12.50 which honestly is not bad pricing for alcohol in general because usually I feel like alcohol is always really expensive but you get the Blinky cup and just Blinky. You know it's a whole souvenir thing. It's like getting the refill uh, Coke freestyle machine cups every year which is going to get one but I think we'll just refill the ones that we constantly have because we still need to use that one more frequently. So. But Kayla is with her aunt and one of her aunt's friends. They're heading to go to the tribute store. I've already done a tribute store video. So we're gonna go walk through the last couple of scare zones. I'll tell you what, you're gonna walk through the scariest part and that's the Simpsons area. I am still not a fan that this is still here. I hope to God at some point this does change to something else. Cause honestly, it's kind of a, in my mind, kind of wasted space. And I'm probably gonna get canceled for that. So, but who cares? Also, the one thing I feel like they've really gone away from for Horror Nights is as much chainsaw. So usually the Springfield area here, normally it's just ridden with the chainsaws, but it feels like that mo lately they've got, like last couple years they've gone away from the chainsaws altogether and really putting more emphasis on their scare zones and the scares that way. But also they do have the Megan Ford, which we did see walking through, but there's no set times when that happens. Because there was like one night they did it like at like 8.30, 9.45, 10.15, and then the next night they did it like at a completely different time. So it's purely random when you have to catch them. But they usually are over by um, where you go into Central Park into and where um, Mel's dying is. Which you gotta go over there and check that out as well. Cause... Didn't have Mel's die-in. So this is the area kind of out here is where you'll have the Megan Horde will come out. Um, but again, there is no set time when they come out because I think the whole point is that they're trying to make it like a surprise when they do show up. But like I said, they come right here to this area. Now they've also have gone to other areas, but most of the videos I've seen of them, they've come here before we really get too far into it, I kind of give you guys an idea of wait times right now. So it is 10, 11 right now. Stranger Things is 80s, Exorcist is 45, Last of Us 100, Chucky 70, Monsters Unmasked 60, Doctor Oddfellows Twisted Origins 100, Dueling is 40, Mummy is 45, Darkest Deal is 50, 
Blood Moon Dark Offerings. This is 40. This is kind of the busiest time of the night you'll have, so expect wait times to be high, but as the evening goes on. But also, you can do stay and screen. So there will be an evening we will come out and do stay and screen, so you gotta get the experience of what it's like to do stay and screen. The thing we learned last year, stay and screen, which is where if you either pay for it on the app or if you have the same day ticket, so like for us, we have passes so we can get in. And then we can stay in one of the special areas, especially since we have freaking beers. So we will do a whole video on that because we found that stay and screen actually feel like you get the most amount done. Because I think last year we did it, we got four or five houses done. <laughs> so something we'll have to come back to do as well. Also, be aware that you know wait times and stuff are higher this time of the night. Then we go to the Dark Zodiac scare zone. Now the one thing is, this is actually connected with the one up by the front where Dr. Oddfellow is. But the funny thing is they, they've got, they haven't brought back the signs. The signs were there to Dark Zodiac and actually came when they had this still up. So I did make the comment about Nazmi chainsaws, but really, honestly, this is the only scare zone that has chainsaws. Because it's not kind of the thing for this year. Like gravity towards the camera to like be scary or spooky. There have been a few years though, I've not paid attention. They come up behind me and absolutely just scare the crud out of me. So, but like I said, this trip is mostly just to walk the scare zone, just have a little bit, get immersed in the horror night. And then Sunday, we will be starting to do houses. So, we'll give you all of our thoughts on houses, have our running list for this year, and hopefully, we'll be able to go through all 10 houses and give you our final ranking by the end of Halloween Horror Night. So right over here is actually where they have the Surfer Boy Pizza, which is from Stranger Things. And this is where they have like the specially Surfer Boy Hawaiian Pizza. But they do have cheese pizza, they have Yuri's favorite, and of course alcohol, because that is what would be holding in Horror Nights without alcohol. Oh, uh, and this has the, uh, this is the poutine. So they, this is the one where they have the bloody campground. It's crispy fries topped with Asian inspired gravy, roasted pork, cheese curd, scallions, and crispy chilies. Mm. Again, I don't drink alcohol, so alcohol is not my thing. I am more a food person. Just want to go through Vamp 69 one more time. 
I think it's actually one of my favorite scare zones right now. Actually, honestly, I like the Dark Zodiac, but... I don't mind much. Welcome one and welcome all to my night of horror and delight. I am your dear host. They call me Dr. Oddfellow. I do hope you all enjoy my festivities I've laid out for you. Tonight you will see things not of this world. Tonight you will see the broken the twisted, the spirits. And if you survive the night, I will bestow upon you the greatest gift of all, the gift of immortality. Who wishes to live forever? Oh, come now, you can all do better than that. Who wishes to live forever? I would love to go back and watch that entire thing with Dr. Oddfellow, but that is so cool. It's just the fact that like, the fact that he's kind of the icon for this year, but the unofficial icon, so, but Kayla wants to go. We both need to go to work for the show today, so I need to get going, because I will literally stay here until 2 a.m. if I, it was up to me. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and call it from our very first trip out to Halloween Horror Nights. Like today and tonight was, kind of get our feet wet, kind of see what there is. We had a lot going on before this, but we were finally gonna be able to do all the Halloween Horror Nights. We still have seven Sundays to do everything. We still have a lot of time, and also it's not even counting that we may come random afternoons or random evenings for just a couple of hours to try to do a couple of houses. So there's still lots of content coming your way. Not just this, but also some stuff on shorts, TikTok, everything else. I'm gonna try to be better about putting in a lot of photos for Instagram as well this year, so. Make sure you guys do follow us up for those because it's going to be an exciting year. I'm so excited to so make sure you guys do check that out. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. But with all that being said, as I do head on out and try to catch up with the group, I will see y'all next time. <laughs>